Hey, what's up? This is Joe and this video is going to be about the biggest change that we have ever seen to Summoner's Glory. Fast Evolve is here. It is the biggest change to ever happen to the game. I'm going to give you my thoughts on how to evolve properly, how to take advantage of Fast Evolve being implemented into the game, and some other kind of random things going on right now in Summoner's Glory. So let's get into it. Alrighty, and then also right out the gate, one thing that I did notice was they changed their app icon in this biggest patch that they've ever done. The new update, you can see the old icon there on the left, the new icon on the right. I love it. It's way better. It is literally fire. I absolutely love the new icon and the change they made to how the app icon looks. And if you have not tried the game yet, just really quickly, I want to let you know to make sure and play on server three. That's the newest server and the server that I play on and have my guild on. I'm happy to help you out, but I won't be able to do so if you're not on server three. And then also, if you're new, you can put in the promo code Chofly on the bottom left when you make your uh, main summoner and you will get some free stuff to get you started on your journey. But okay, now finally, Fast Evolve is in the game and I want to show you why this is such a big deal. So typically, when we're evolving our phantoms, we have to go through one by one, click evolve, click evolution, click over here, click these two, click evolve, wait for the animation, let it play. You can see already this is getting like, whoa, okay. Then we got to go back out, select another one, go to evolve, do this. And this is just for the first evolve. So uh, even though Summoner's Glory was a great game with lots of potential, this was always the main complaint of players is, we have to do all this evolving for level one and level two. The later ones aren't so bad, level three and above, because you don't do it nearly as often. But you have to do these level one and level two evolutions so much that it was one of the ma main and biggest complaints of the player base. And now they have finally been able to address it and get this implement system implemented. So I'll show you how it works and my best tips in terms of summoning and evolving effectively. So what I did was I did a bunch of summoning until I was literally capped out. You see here, if I click on the book to summon, it will not let me. It says you reached the number of phantoms limit and can't receive more sacrifice or evolve phantoms to continue. So for this video, I wanted to get capped out. I pulled a bunch of silver books, just trying to summon as many phantoms as I can. And I'll show you the process of how I'm going to manage that effectively. So what I like to do if I've done a ton of summoning and I need to start managing my phantoms is click down here on the bottom right under the menu and go to sacrifice. Now, do not sacrifice your double S and your A's, but right there in the middle, I like to sacrifice my S tier phantoms. Just go through and kind of select all my phantoms that are S rank and sacrifice them for essence. It's a good way to keep your essence number up. You will see here that a few have slipped through the cracks and gotten evolved when I was doing some fast evolving and stuff. But what I like to do after doing a bunch of summon uh, is the ones that are level, like, like unevolved, like just the base level, go through and sacrifice them. That way I am keeping a constant flow of essence coming into my account by uh, taking these S's and, and just sacrificing them for essence. And you can do some sorting right here under quality to help you out uh, do, you know, with that process and kind of find these easier to just go through but uh, this will probably take me a couple minutes or so. So I'll fast forward once I've got all these S's sacrificed that are unevolved. And then we'll talk about the next step. And here we go. Just a couple more. And I believe I've got all of the S's that I could find uh, kind of selected here. And we are down into the A's now. So I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice that right there to turn those S rank phantoms into essence of life. Then as of right now, my roster should mainly just be double S phantoms and A rank phantoms. So now we can head on over into fast evolve. We'll go under phantoms and then click the icon over here that was new and added to this patch. Fast evolve right here. So then you can see here that up at top, we can pick one, two, three, and kind of get a lay of the land for what we've got available to us in terms of evolving. Now, uh, one thing you do want to pay attention to is the XP phantoms. You can see right here, these are experience phantoms. Now, the system will use those in fast evolve. So before you start going crazy, doing a bunch of fast evolves, you may want to go through and use your XP phantoms on the phantoms that you were trying to level up. If you're still Early game, mid game, using those XP phantoms can definitely help you out in terms of getting more levels and getting your phantom stronger. So that is something you definitely want to pay attention to. But if you want to use them for Evos, you certainly can. And once you get to the end game, you probably will find yourself doing that more and more as you've got phantoms really leveled up and hitting that max level. So then you can click right here, check all of it. It'll max you out at 50 out of 50 opportunities to do fast evolve. Then you do really quickly 
Just want to kind of browse through here. Just scroll through. Make sure nothing crazy is happening. Uh, th this patch is new, so you want to make sure it's not sacrificing some phantom that you really don't want to get rid of. Some double S phantom uh, that, that, that's kind of new on your account or anything. So you just want to take a quick uh, you know, minute here and just scroll through and make sure you're not seeing anything crazy. Uh, but you can stop after you see the check marks. See, these are ones that I wasn't able to select yet because it stops at 50. So once you see, once you get to the bottom of the check marks there, you can stop and everything looks good here. So I would click evolution. And as long as you've got the resources required, the essence of life and the gold, boom. Now I've got all those phantoms evolved. And you can see here when I click under two, and now I've got options because I just evolved a bunch to level one. But remember, I was capped. So I, I pulled so many silver books, was saving up for this patch because I knew I was going to want to do a bunch of fast evolving. So I would go back here under one, quit the check mark again to select as many as I can. Uh, then I want to go through and make sure nothing crazy is happening. Make sure there's no like double S's or something until I see the bottom of the check mark. Okay, that all looks pretty good. Should be fine. And again, it's 99.9% .9 gonna be fine. But the patch is new. I'd hate to see some bug sacrifice some phantom or something. Or, you know, just play it safe for a little bit until you really get a feel for it. Let's go ahead and keep it rolling until we are capped out. Everything looks good. It's doing A's and A's and A's. All those silver books that I pulled, it is going through and evolving. Now, this used to take... This would literally, what I've just done here would have literally taken like an hour before. Like just going through, your hands would be bleeding, your joints would hurt, you're sitting here doing all these evolves. So an absolutely massive, I can't overstate how much of a quality of life change this is for Summoner's Glory. So again, we're not even capped out yet. How many more do we got? We can do, okay, probably about two more and we should hit the max and then we should have a bunch of Evo 2s ready to rock as well. Boom, there is that one, and selected. Now we've only got the 9 out of 50 left. And you, you can stay on top of this. You don't have to go crazy and go from a clean account to saving up and maxing everything out. I just did that because I wanted to be able to do a bunch of them on video here to show you examples of it. But nothing wrong with keeping your account much more managed. Do some summoning. Do some evoing. Do some summoning. Do some evoing and kind of keep up with it every day. You don't have to save up and then slam it like, like, like I'm doing kind of here in the video. So let's evolve that. And now we have got all these level twos ready to go. And it will prioritize the double S's uh, and then sacrifice those A's into that to make it happen, which is good because you don't really want to take A's or S's above Evo 2 if you can help it. You want to use your S's, uh, your double S's to go three and above uh, when you're Evoing that much. But that's why I say it's a good idea to sacrifice the S's. It's a good middle ground to, to kind of manage the essence properly. And you're not going to want to take them to the higher Evos anyway. So you might as well use the A's for your low evos use the s's for essence and then use your double s's for the higher food so let's go ahead and keep it rolling here we've got 41 out of 50 it shows you the resources it is going to require over there and then we go through just make sure nothing you kind of want to look at the middle column that's the most important thing to look at because this is what you're going to be losing in the middle column here i'm losing these four phantoms so when you're scrolling through make sure you got an eye on that middle column and just make sure nothing crazy is happening. Like if you see a double S or if you see something like right there, you see how that one popped out, level 26. That would be something that would catch my eye. Like, like if you see a number that isn't level one, that's something you want to take a second to look at. But everything looks good and we are clear to hit evolve. And yeah, you just kind of keep working your way up the line and going. And then as you get up to like Evo 3, Evo 4, it's much more manageable. There's not going to be near the craziness. You can even do that manual if you want. It's mainly for Evo 1. That, that is where it was definitely needed. Uh, and then it helps out with Evo 2 as well. But as you get up here, it's a lot easier to kind of go through your account and do it manually. But I love it. I can't wait to use it more and more. And I've been talking with them behind the scenes on continuing to work on this and giving them feedback, things that I wish it would do differently, uh, things that would help uh, if it were implemented in the system to make it even better than it already is. But it is already an epic change to the game. I'm loving it so far. But there was actually a lot of other stuff in this patch. I did a dedicated video on everything that was in it. But uh, the most notable thing was probably the fast Evo and then the new uh, Demon Fortress levels here. The, the Wolf Demon and the Fiery Dragon. It used to max out at level 10. Now it goes all the way to level 20. I am still in the process of min-maxing and building my teams, getting to that last stage, and then really crunching the numbers in terms of how the runes and how all the farming uh, was affected by these new stages. So I will keep you up to date on that as well. But now I've got my account all cleaned up. It was, uh, that literally saved me like two hours in, in Evoing, just right there, but you watched in this video going through and doing the fast Evo system. So I am very appreciative of that finally being live. And now that my account is clean, 
I am ready to do an epic book summoning party. So I'm gonna go head over live on stream. There is a link down below. If you're watching this video right when it came out, down in a pinned comment, link to my stream. We're gonna be hanging out, playing some Rage Shadow Legends, playing some Summoner's Glory, doing some summoning party, just kind of hanging out and enjoying the Sunday night here on some of these mobile games. So if you want to come say hi, that link is down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.